What is happening, y'all? Welcome to Star Wars Squadrons. Uh, so I have not played this at all yet. I imagine I'm gonna have to do like tutorial type stuff before we can jump into multiplayer. The goal here is to do some multiplayer tonight. Uh, so I went ahead and I made our two star fighters. We have Edgeman McEdgerton and Hans Donopans. Hans Donopans is a rugged German rebel. <clears throat> Um, that was born on Alderaan. And Edgeman McEdgerton, he's actually the bastard child of Darth Vader. When Darth Vader lost all of his, his limbs, his penis was taken to make an army of Imperial pilots. But George Lucas won't tell you about that. Anyway, it's uh, good, except... What is this? This HUD elements, instruments only. Ah, let's just do standard. Story mode, pilot, veteran, ace. I don't play flight games for shit. We're just gonna do pilot. Long time ago, when a galaxy far, far away. It's Dad! I told you he was my dad. See, he's in the opening cutscene. They incited rebellion and anarchy. And paid the price. The survivors continue to spread dissent. Find them. Do not rest until the destruction of Alderaan is complete. Have to go around and shoot people with my Tie Fighter. <laughs> Where's my flight helmet? I ain't doing all that shit, man. It would have it would have been orders are clear. Are they? Yes. Where's the all that remains of Alderaan? I put subtitles on. I understood the survivors were in hiding. Intelligence reports a possible Alderanian convoy heading to Fostar Haven. You are to draw them out and finish them off. Do you understand that, Captain? Perfectly, Commodore Sloan. Dismissed. This guy having like second thoughts about killing the filthy rebels. Captain James. Everything ready, Lieutenant Carroll. Squadrons on their way. They're excited to fulfill Lord Vader's command. And you? No qualms hunting down refugees from a world we destroyed? During the Iskalon uprising, you taught me to ignore propaganda. They're traitors, not refugees, and will be dealt with. Accordingly. Yeah. We prepped our usual Sigma 9 loadout. No. Healthy traders. Only standard ties today. Flying old school, sir. This might be a real challenge after all. This guy's a bleeding heart. You hear me, Teresa? But I don't think you understand me. I guess we'll find out. This is my guy. Follow my lead. And don't fire unless I give the order. The convoy is out there. We don't want to scare them off. Let's do this right. Should make a Star Wars and mechanics of Dark Souls? Did you not play Fallen Order? Which is basically that? Options, accessibility. Path to accessibility. No, I just want subtitles on for people. There we go. The Imperials are the best part of Star Wars. Begin pre-flight checks. Pilot, boot up 
your cockpit systems. Understood. <laughs> that sounds so funny. Understood. I picked the edgiest voice possible. So half speed is fast turns. Those engines run hot enough to vaporize a tie. I've known a few daredevils who found that out the hard way. Tie pilots push the limits. Sometimes the limits push back. This probably would be pretty dope in VR. Those curious, I do have a throttle system. I also have a VR. I'm using neither for this. We are going in with just a controller, mainly because it's a pain in the ass to set all that stuff up. A control similar to Ace Combat. Never even played it, so I can't tell you. Didn't set up the HOTUS. I mean, I think it's been in the closet for like a year and a half. I'd have to put it out and then I gotta move the keyboard so I have room on the desk. And and then the VR, I gotta set and I'm just like, oh my god, so much extra shit. I don't wanna deal with this. I don't have the software installed for it right now. It's just a lot of extra stuff, you know? So I don't know. If we're really liking this. If we're really, really liking this, like, once a week liking it, maybe I'll pull the joystick back out. Why were, you, why were you playing standing up in VR?
vessels. This is Captain Lyndon Javes of the Galactic Empire. Prepare for immediate inspection. And this is Vostar Haven Station Master. Kindly avoid harassing my customers. If they cooperate, they'll be fine. Pilot, proceed. It will be done. <laughs> I love my guy. They will identify potential targets. Pilot, begin by inspecting that ship. Scan an unknown ship, face it and tap LT, then approach it. Your scan will begin when you're a thousand meters. Wait, wait, we have always been loyal to the Empire. See? We're loyal. I swear. No sign it's from Alderaan. Keep looking. Pilot, keep inspecting those ships and see if the refugees are here. Good. Check that ship next. My damn TIE fighter. My customers are legitimate traitors. You have no right. Captain, the station's defenses just activated. Helix Squadron, destroy those turrets. We can't search under fire. Out here, no one shoots unless they're prepared for return fire. Even the Empire should know that. Shoot, 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 shoot. Divert power to lasers. Lasers will recharge. Oh, cool. So it's kind of like it's like Elite Dangerous. Or we can go to either. We can either go towards lasers or thrusters. Yeah, my time fighter's almost dead. You at? Chasing down this one. Uh, X wings have regenerating shields. Blast through the shields before you can damage the hull. Lead your target, aiming reticle turns from white to red. Your shot will hit the target. Lost it. 
No. Ah, oh, no. Boom. Power into the lasers. We've got enemy activity. Pilots down. We have rebel X wings on the sensors. Oh, it didn't tell me about that. I would have repaired the shit out of my hull. Tie fighter. One less rebel. Target destroyed. Enemy is down. Oh, I can hold it. I've been tapping the damn trigger this whole time. Lasers. Oh no. All systems down. Those were iron missiles. Where the hell did they come from? Sorry, Teresa. After all the run, I can't ignore what the Empire's become. You bitch, James. Lyndon, what do you say? That I don't care who ordered it. I didn't sign up to hurt innocent refugees. Protecting them makes me a rebel. Then so be it. Dun dun dun. Damn it. Pilot, see if you can bypass his shutdown. <laughs> Catch up with that traitor. Lieutenant Carroll to the vigilance. Captain James is aiding the rebellion. Send immediate assistance. Power to lasers! Destroy him! I'm fighting to kill rebel scum! Execute order, kill that guy. Oh, 
Oh, you screwed. They're about to murder all of you. The Empire ships look so badass too. Like the rebel ships just look like little potatoes. They're all like round and shit. This is fast. This is engines. This is lasers. Weapons look good. They'll look better when we're shooting down ties. Oh, this is power and shields. shields. Oh. Right. This is maneuver. The defensive option, the movement option, the kill option. honest so far pretty good but uh i think elite dangerous still has the space combat down i mean they took they took some lessons from elite with the power diversion clearly but Forces. 
Missiles away. Looks like it performs pretty badly? What? Am I like losing frames or something? It's playing fine. I don't see any frame issues. Bye bye.
God no! <laughs> it blew the shit out of me. Oh man! Let's hope your feet can keep those shields down. Strike here. We can take down the visionless target. We're getting there. Keep firing. Oh! I got it, I'm getting this shit out of here. I want to try some some multiplayer. Can I go straight to that, or do I like is this all tutorial type stuff? We all choose our path: light or dark, freedom or destruction. The Empire chose to destroy Alderaan in order to spread fear and douse the fires of rebellion. But the heroic pilots of the Rebel Alliance have chosen to keep fighting, to show the Empire that we are not afraid. It was their bravery that ended Palpatine's reign and brought about our new Republic. However, the Empire lives on, shattered though it may be. As I speak, Imperial forces are edging toward the Bormia Sector, hoping to end our new Republic before we find our footing. As their Empire collapses, they try to tighten their grip. But the galaxy is changing, and you can be a part of it. 
With the help of brave and daring pilots, this war can end. Make a choice. Fly with the New Republic. Change our galaxy for the better. See you later, Reno. Have fun at work. Prologue complete. Uh, you can now continue the story or go to customize. Yeah, it's going to main menu. Going straight to the multiplayer. Oh, shoot people. All player ranks have been reset. Placement matches for fleet battles are now available. Play now to calibrate your rank. Uh, okay. Let's customize. Wait, I don't want to customize. Yeah, go to the Imperial Hangar. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, all right. Let's see. TIE Fighter. Slower, boasts increased armor, explosives, arsenal, and heavy blasters. Sounds good. The Interceptor. High speed and four laser cannons. What is this thing? Oh, this is a support? I don't want to play that. Um, how's the, is the bomber good, chat? I mean, I like the sound of, like, explosive arsenal. Primary weapon. We have a laser cannon. Ooh, what is this? Has a short wind-up, then fires extremely quickly. It's much easier to hit enemies, but deals less damage. Show an unguided laser. Rotary cannon. Senior rotary cannon. And then ion cannon. So this... Takes out shields. Bomber thick. Use the third one. It's much better. I don't know, man. The thick boy looks good. I mean, I need more requisition to do anything. Salt shield from the front for duration. Great for attacking ships. Currently equipped on right artillery. There's a beam cannon. High damage beam that lasts a few moments. An ion bomb. Proton bomb. Tap the button to drop bombs underneath you. Very high damage, but you have to get close. Drop some mine. A Goliath missile. I don't know. That just sounds good. Um, ooh, what are these? Multi-lock missiles. Chafe particles. Yeah, this thing sounds badass, dude. What about you? What do you have? Repair. Concussion missile. Seeker warheads. What about this? What do you got? You got laser cannon, anti-starfighter missile. I mean, this thing has multi-lock missiles. I like multi-lock missiles. We're probably playing with that. Excellent choice. I guess I should... No, I should look at the Republic. So, so do you, like, pick a side, or can you get, like... When you join a match, does it just, like, put you in... Um, does it, like, just put you into one? Like, can I always play Empire? It moves really slow, so it's very easy to focus on. That's okay. I'm alright with being a slow, thick boy. Most games are... Slow, thick boy. Y-Wing Bomber. Look at this zippy little thing. And then that's the support. You can pick a side. Okay. Then, yeah, we're just gonna play... Play the Empire. Mess shit up. Coming right up. Multiplayer and training. Dogfight fleet battles. I think I gotta do this. Training or warming up in practice mode. Nah, I'll skip it. Wait, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Why, why is it showing... Why is it showing New Republic? I don't want to be New Republic. Get this garbage out of here. There we go. Switch back to the Imperial Hangar. I'll get right on. No, why does it keep showing them? It's not gonna like. Oh, whatever. Let's just quick match, and then we'll see what happens. Oh shit, threw me into a dogfight? Bro, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm gonna get destroyed. I was trying to get into like a big battle. Uh, 
Oh, wait, no, I don't want to be on this side. Why am I on this side? Man... I thought y'all said I could pick a side. Now I gotta play an X-Wing. Alright, can I back out of this? Can I, can I back out? I don't think I can leave. I think I'm stuck in this match. Guy doing dumbass emotes. Yeah, I might as well try the Bomber Republic one. Um, oh, what is this? No, shit, it's too late. The last guy readied up. Oh, man. I don't believe myself. I'm, all, I'm always better as a bad guy. Yeah, we're about to get wrecked, probably. Vanguard four, ready for battle. Y'all are ready for me. Vanguard three, ready for battle. This is Vanguard two, and I think I'm ready. Vanguard one, is it ready? Don't have long, Vanguard. Destroy all Imperial starfighters. Highway Neko-chan. <laughs> Missiles. Hey, quit it. I'll make it up to you. Woo, another one goes down. Yeah, that juke right there. That was good, right? Yeah. Where did he go? Come back here. Come back here. Got him! Come on, baby. All those elite dangerous days don't let me down now. No, oh great babe got me. Uh change starfighter. I need to see like controls. Controls. Okay, here we go. Uh select target, targeting wheel, drift oh shit. Is on the way. So that's that. That's my lock on. Nice, four. Missiles!
I need to, I probably do need to go to the, the practice and like learn. It seems like there's, or right, here we go, controls. So fire, fire auxiliary, fire left auxiliary, cycle targets, focus shields, deploy countermeasures is B. That's what I needed. I wasn't deploying countermeasures at all. Um, Your luck's about to change. Oh, I can focus my shields to like balanced front or back. Okay. All right. All right. What's my what's my other weapon? Man, what was my what was my thing? I thought B was countermeasures. Wasn't B countermeasures? Controls. Deploy countermeasures. Do I not have countermeasures with this thing? Focus shields. Whatever. We're good. On my way. Lucky you. Use the rolls? Okay. Damn, dude, that mega moist guy is fucking me up. Like, instantly. Oh, he's using some big ass laser thing to like blow me up. Automatic left ion cannon. Don't forget about me. Seeker, concussion missile, double tap to fire without a lock. Parajoid. Okay, so I didn't have a repair thing before. Enemies locked on to me. Damn! People are just blowing the shit out of me. I was fucking people up at the start. Yeah, I need countermeasures versus missile. Two and five. Oh no, dude. I'm just throw. Oh my god, the other guy's one and six, bro. Let's make it That dude just pointed at me and shot. I mean, it could be worse. I could be the two and seven. Flying your way. Bro, that guy kills so fast. What the shit? What is he using? That guy looks at you and you're dead. Mega Moist just boned me. I was doing so good at the start, and then dude was just like, Pshew! Yeah, basically we were, as, as soon as like one person died, and then it just went. Maybe I should go to practice. Nah, fuck that. Galactic. Imperial ships can overclock their weapons. It's tons of damage. That was an interceptor. They specialize in messing up other starfighters. Dude, all he had to do was like glance in my direction and I was dead. The damage was insane. 
Like, even when he was coming at me head on, he just, like, looked at me and I died. He had some kind of, like, giant laser thing. Did matchmaking fail? Double attack target lock to aim at the guy shooting you. All right, so load out. Multi-lock missiles. I got chafe. Breaks locks and stops missiles and mines. I need requisitions. This is missile intercept. This is sensor jammer. All right. So my left is an assault shield. Less damage from the front for a duration or this. Tap the button to drop bombs. They go underneath you. So that's for assaulting capital ships. Hold the button to fire. Oh no, I don't even have that. I need I need requisition, man. Yeah, I'm gonna be a bomber. Yeah, I'm a bomber guy. So I got I should attack people head on and use my multi like lock missile and my laser beams. I mean, the problem last time was like one person died and then the second person died. Basically, we were spawning and like we'd spawn and go up against all five of them. So we need to just stick together. That's that's the game plan here. Stick together. We got to work together to pew pew the filthy rebel scum. Titan 2 at the ready. Titan 1 at the ready. Titan 3 in formation. Titan 5 standing by. Don't let this wreckage intimidate you, Titan. History will remember this place as Vanguard Squadron's grave. Targets acquired. They are mine. Do not engage alone. What is this? Yes, right here where I want you. Annihilate that target. Oh god, no, I got stuck. I was trying to fly through that. Now keep 
fighting. Yes, yes. Getting messed up, and y'all tried to talk me out of playing the strength build. Damn, they finally got me. How? Like, how? What is my score, bro? Oh, Cowboy, you don't want to... Oh, Cowboy, you don't want to play the bomber. Cowboy, no. Don't play the bomber. The bomber's bad. Eight and one. Let's go. Don't play the bomber, Cowboy. Bomber's a bad idea. You don't want to do it. Gotta have maneuverability. How do I shoot the dude that's on my ass? Get them off me. Off of my ass. Binks is the one who killed me? Mm. It was just, just flying slow. Oh, no wonder why. He was sitting on my ass. All right, Binks. All right, I see you now.
Goodbye, Binks, you filthy rebel piece of shit. Oh, kill my pilot error? Oh, nine and three. Oh, I'm not even going to respawn in time. This match is over. 29 to 12. Let's go. It's your boy, Strength Build Bomber, coming in. Eight freaking kills, leading the Imperial victory. Yeah, that's right. Edgelord Mick Edgerton clapping cheeks as he should be. Look at that. Nine kills, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Worst to first. Yeah. <laughs> Just had to put me on the right side. I got boxes. Almost got two levels. New record. All right, now I, now I got requisition packs. Bro, I don't want to play Interceptor, all right? I want to play Bomber. I like Bomber. You can go play Interceptor. I'm going to play a Bomber. All right, uh, so the standard laser cannon. Fires extremely quickly, much easier to hit enemies, but it's unguided version, less damage per shot. Short wind up fire, ideal if you want high sustained damage or you're worried about missing. Rotary cannon. Ion weapon, which of these do I want? Deals high damage to shields. This is the thing. Is this the thing that charges up and then it's like, Poo! is that the thing I was being nuked with? Rotary guns sound good. Rotary guns sound like the mini cannons from Elite Dangerous. 182, 600 ammo capacity, 1000 meter range, 20 energy per second, 9 energy per second. 16.7 shots per second. Let's do the rotary cannon. I think you'll be happy with it. And then uh max number of targets. Can fire missiles at multiple targets. Ideal against groups and turrets. Always costs one ammo per use. Pull the button to fire a high damage beam. Your ship will barely turn while it's active. Ideal versus capital ships. Drop a bomb, drop a bomb, drop a mine behind you. Always explodes with a huge blast, even when countered. Ideal for damaging targets while keep, they keep avoiding your missiles and closely grouped enemies. Very high damage from long range, but has a long lock time and cannot be fired at close range. I think I get rid of my assault shield and I go for the Goliath missile. Medium homing. Let's go for the Goliath missile. Yeah, big ass missile. Countermeasure, I'll have to level up to get more. 
I get mine behind you so when you're chased. Yeah, but I like the sound of Goliath missile. How do I how do I get ranked? Oh, until you reach level five. Well, shit, now that now that I, I placed in first, man, the game is going to it's going to rank me super high. I want missiles, big ass missiles. Dude, I literally, I literally was the Chungus ship. Like, I had almost, I had nothing in my boosters. I had everything I could. I put everything I could into my lasers. And just shot somebody until they were dead. Thought bombers were for taking out ships. Bombers are for whatever I make them for. So, the one thing um, I'm not sure about... Um, when I was doing the power convert, what does convert power do exactly? Cause it was, I moved, so I have my pips, like if I do maximum weapon power and then I do the convert power and I also put that to my weapon, what is happening there exactly? Like how do, how does convert power differ from using the D pad to change my power around? Overclocks the laser. Okay. So just extra more damage, basically. And I'm guessing I'm sacrificing my, my mobility for that. I'm losing engine power, so I'm I'm slow, but I have thick damage. Y'all shouldn't have told him that. I mean, it's what I was doing last time already. I'm just, I, I just want to know what I'm doing exactly. Oh, all power and engine builds boost cycle to weapons converts boost to weapon for double damage. Double tap weapon buttons or to immediate power shunt. I'm just going to put everything in weapons. Shit's gonna be a reverse. <laughs> I'm gonna be killing everybody is what's gonna happen, bro. Did you see how much damage I did last time? Did you see the damage I did? Right? Just play the Death Star. That's you might as well. Give me the Death Star. I'm here to blow ships up, okay? I'm I am not I'm not the rogue of space dashing around and maneuvering. Nah, I'm here to be like smash boom. I'm here to fuck people up. Titan three on the hunt. Weapons, weapons. Titan one in formation. Titan two standing by. Vanguard squadron challenges us. Dude, the fastest I can go is 84. <laughs> I, it's like I have a Toyota Corolla. I'm just like. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> oh god this damage dude this is what i wanted Where, where is my squad getting blown to shit? Ah, 
damn it! I need to get him there. There we go, he's dead. Missiles aren't gonna work here. Actually, you know what? As close as they're flying, I need to just, I just need to Goliath missiles. Look at this zip. Oh, he got blown the fuck up as he killed me too. Look at that, already two kills. Already two kills. It's like you took a tank out, dude. I, sh I, I kill. Goliath missiles. <laughs> that one wasn't me, but he got blown up. <laughs> I like this thing, dude. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, Christ. Commander Wolf, you're targeting me. Major Bonky, we meet again. Another one falls. Commander Wolf, you return. Impressive, Titan Dead again. Gotta get that boost. Ending it now. <laughs> Titan Four, you're fine now. You did your job. 
You fucking idiot! No chance! Come at me, my bummer! Yo, that dude legit tried to come head to head with my dude. I was like, uh, no. Sit down. Oh, uh, man. I think I'm enjoying this. This is good. This is good. Ooh, an eight kill streak. What was the what was the scoreboard? Show me the scoreboard. Ooh, shit! Oh, God! But, Cowboy, you, you gotta play the Interceptor. You don't understand. The bomber's just too slow. You can't pull up. You can't use a bomber in a in, in a dogfight. That's not possible. You just can't do that. Bomber in a dogfight. That's insanity. The, the head to head at the end, that was the best. Because the dude looks at me and starts shooting, and I'm like, Are you fucking stupid? And just. And he's dead. Just absolutely annihilated that poor boy. Like, why? Why why would you even try to go head to head with a bomber? Uh... <laughs> Dogfight, your best option as a bomber is to ram into the. Uh, oh, I get two loadouts now. Cool. Um, so the Goliath missile. I mean, I don't know if the, Goli the Goliath missile was cool. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should do the mine thing. Just because the one death I had was that guy that was like riding right on my ass. So maybe, maybe the mine. But let's look at some of the other stuff here. Um, drop a cloud, fly straight to ensure no multiple projectiles behind you that intercept missiles locking onto you. Um, four seconds. Let's do this thing, the seeker warheads. I think that's good. I'm going to, I'm going to keep the Goliath thing for now. Um, Standard hull. Increase hull integrity, but turning and changing speeds takes longer. 60% max health. Oh my god. Um enemies take longer to lock on to you, but you have no, yeah. Give me I want this is the strength build. <laughs> give me the strength build. <laughs> yes. 60% more health? Okay. Oh god. Um increased generation and usage of boost. You're faster and can change speeds quickly at the expense of hull integrity. Um, is boost? I don't. I didn't use boost. <laughs> just get rid of your wings for cannons. Exactly. I just need two extra cannons. I just want to be a floating cannon. That's it. I don't even. I don't even want to be a uh, a ship. I just want to be a cannon that floats around space, and then shoots stuff. <laughs> yes, a drifting space turret. Um, significantly increased generation and usage of boost. Boost charge, passive boost charge. Which of these, since I have nothing in my engine, which of these is going to help me more? Because I don't want this. Oh, but this has a massive explosion on death. That sounds kind of cool. You create an explosion that can destroy nearby enemies. Maybe I do want that. Because I, so I picked up, I have the 60% boost here. And then a 35 and a 25 hit. So I could do this to help offset those hits, lose a little bit of health, and gain a massive explosion on death. Less health, but I mean, if something, because if something's going to kill me, it's probably something that's like right on my ass. Yeah, but I already boosted health by 20. I boosted health by 60. Ship now generates, decrease max speed of your ship to generate boots of any power is in engines. The more power, okay, I don't want that. I don't, I don't ever put power in engines, in engines. 
Increased generation and usage of boost. I don't know if this would be helpful either. Oh yeah, I can get some colors on it. Yeah, give me the blue. Yeah, I want the blue. Very good then. I'm just making the thickest shit possible. Get a bat cannon? I wish, bro. Oh shit, no. I don't want a quick match. I mean, Galactic Empire. I'm not playing some shitty TIE fighter or some X-Wing thing. I got that health. Yeah, I think I think the the explosion thing might be good. Because quite literally they would they would be on my ass and they die and then I wouldn't have to worry about the mine or them trying to evade the mine. <laughs> Your ship stalls just pop out of the cockpit with a cannon. My guy just has a space RPG that he pulls out. I'll show you the other ship, Snazzy. Hang on. So you have your regular TIE Fighter. You have your Interceptor, which is like your speedy boy. It just has more speed. And uh, I think, yeah, more speed and acceleration maneuverability. This is support. Um, it aids stuff. And then this is the Chungus with 4,000 fucking max hull. So we're gonna give the Goliath missile another chance here. I like those. I like these. Cause I'm not sure their Goliath missiles seem kinda slow. I don't know if anybody's gonna gonna hit it. What a turnaround from the first match. See, the problem all along was just that I wasn't playing the Empire. I need to be on the Empire. <coughs> How's the campaign? I don't know. I went through the prologue and then I immediately jumped in because I didn't want to play as some rebel pussy. We have to protect the refugees. Lord Vader is evil. Like, nah, kill them all. What's your ship's name? I don't think we get to name them, but it would be the Imperial Chungus. Special class TIE Fighter, Imperial Chungus. Goliath missiles will work against you. Probably, but no one runs them. Everyone's like, oh, I'm going to run this thing instead. I'm going to run my fast zippy. The great thing is the cannon shoots so fucking fast. Like, I don't even need to turn fast. I can just, like, stay at the edge of combat, and the second I look at somebody, I'm like, and they're dead.
Ah, oh, get. No, no. Oh. No! Oh, god damn it. My team went too far without me. It was another fatty. I was a fatty killed by a fatty. That's that's unacceptable. Who did I die to? What was that Vanguard? It was Neptus, I think. That was unacceptable. Here we go. I'm here. He's like inside the ship. Damn it. I keep dying to like people I don't even, I'm like, I need to, what is it? Is it A that targets the closest person? I need to target the guy closest to me. Cause I keep tar, I think the problem is I'm like, I'm locking on and I'm trying to shoot at people that are like real far away. On approach. A cycles. Get off of my ass, Ash. Yeah, dude, the A-Wing is just flying around me. I may be too slow with the Chungus upgrade. Because, uh, look at this shit. I'm, like, trying to desperately turn. We might have to go for the mine over the Goliath. I mean, we're going to win this. Is that only a temporary boost? You dumb bitch. There we go. See now now we're grouping up. Now we're grouping up. We just we just needed to group up. We good now. Get off of me! Ah, shit! The damn A-wing. Yeah, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need mines. I can't stop the A-wings to get behind me. My 
time is now. I'm gonna die, I'm at least taking this guy down with me. Ugh. No, he's out of range. Shit. God damn it. Yeah, I think Goliath Missile. Goliath Missile seems like it would be good if I was playing something faster. But as slow as I am, I need to mine to keep people off my ass. Otherwise, people can just do that shit. Catch him is beating me? Bro, no. Oh, god damn it. Every time there's another one just keeps flying in. I don't like this level too. I think part of the problem is this is like big and open and shit. Big and open is the opposite of what I need. I need lots of like tight corners. Like, both the last two maps, there were lots of places that I was able to just, like, kind of sit and hide and shit. And this one, people just fucking look at me and I'm dead. At least get his ass? I did. At the plus 100. This is close. I also don't know where the fuck my teammate is. Like the last time any protection of someone was with you. Yeah, that's the thing. I have, I have no one. The other. Uh, previously, it felt like I had teammates that were covering my ass. This time, I had a team that just didn't do anything. Like. I died a shit ton and I was still like, what was I second on our team? I gotta see the scoreboard. Yeah, I was second with five kills and dying seven fucking times. We had a zero and one, a zero and four. I had a team of potatoes. Nah, the illustrious career, the, the Imperial Chungus just needs its mine. That's it. We just need a mine upgrade, and we're good. Needs the mine so that when people... Tox in an interceptor, right? Just have Tox just following around shooting anything that gets on me. While I just fly around like Chung Smash. I do stand by that that was a shit level for me, though. Like, a big-ass open map like that, where the only real cover is, like, swooping into the ship real fast. That is not... No, I need I need stuff where there's like plates all around. Because the two levels that I've gone Chungus on so far, there was like a lot of shit, like a lot of stuff that I could kind of like fly around and just just natural cover. That map had like no cover. What was this? Xavian Abyss. That sounds, that sounds good. Xavian Abyss sounds like there's gonna be like asteroids and shit. I mean, I can just, just to, to try, let me edit the loadout on this. 
Oh, you can't even have that. You have all different stuff. What about you? Do you have... Dude, it was like, when you unlock this, you unlock it for every ship. Like, what? No, they don't have any of my upgrades, bro. Onslaught rockets. The Goliath... So the Goliath missile is only for my, my Chungus, I guess. We got two Chungus this time. Don't do that. Busy. Understood. It's always the Empire ready and the, the Rebels like just waiting. Just waiting and doing nothing. I don't think so. Impossible. All right, here we go. Time for the thickness. Star Wars Part Four: Return of the Thick. They're building hope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. I mean, I, I bet it's going to be like a bunch of asteroids and shit, and we're just floating around in like an asteroid field. Which, if there's rocks and shit all over, that's enough cover for me. The game has taken a couple hits. I've noticed a couple frame rate dips every here and there. At like nine. Like it's not like constant, but I definitely need my uh I need my thirty eighty. Oh, that's this place. Yeah, hey, I can. This this place will work just fine. There's rocks and shit all over. I killed by some Russian dude. No oh, shit! I was fucking up the one and now they're all on me. I'm being 
God damn it. Yeah, we're playing with a controller. I need the mines, man. I'm dying so much to people on my ass. I need to unlock that mine. I need one level. Is there some reason why you can't see half the screen because they're shit in the world? You mean like the cockpit? God damn, dude. This Captain Kenyal guy, I need to focus on him. It, it's the A-Wings and the, the other fast shit that are getting me. Because he was so close on my ass, I might go for that other thing. Because if I had that shit where it's like, when you die, your shit blows the fuck up. So many of these people would be dying. I just need to wait. We need we need the squad to roll in together too. Pilots, this battle is a close one, but victory is still achievable. Who the fuck locked on to me, dude? Got you, you little shit. Oh no, get off of me! Ah, oh, my god, dude. The fucking A-Wings. Every time it's the A-Wings. And again, I have a potato team. Why? Why is my team not getting kills? They don't stand a chance now.
Come on. Nope. Oh, dead. I got that guy, though. He's their best pilot, I think. I don't know. I have to check and see who their best guy is. Yeah, him. He's their best, so I just need to keep taking him and I'll be lost. As long as I can get my mine, well, I'll be good. I want the mine and I want the, uh, I will explode if people kill me thing. Because I keep getting, like, the last two matches, man. I had teams that did fuck all. Show me the... Why is it not toggling the scoreboard? Whatever. Why would I pay money for this? Then don't. I don't think anybody here gives a shit what you spend your money on, bro. Nine hundred damage. Yeah, we're doing this. You have a good eye. And then we're doing the I will explode on death engine. Just since I'm a slow thick boy. This will give me this will give me just a little bit more acceleration and max speed. And the thing is I still have more health than I started with. Uh, I have a thousand more health. So I'm taking a slight health hit. And I'm gaining a little bit more speed to get back to the fight. I have a massive explosion on death. And I have the mines. Perfect. Can I go into fleet battles? No, at level 5. I'm level 4. I'm playing on PC. All right, now we are set up. We got our mines. We got our explosion for people that ride my ass. This is all we need, baby. We're ready to go. Nah, I want to do fleet battles. I haven't unlocked those, though. I could try a mouse and keyboard. But I'd have, I'd have to, like, go through practice with mouse and keyboard. I don't get why people take so long to, like, you get into this lobby and then you wait almost a full two minutes. Like, pick your fucking starfighter and let's go. I'm on a controller right now, yeah. I also have a, a hand on throttle system, but it's sitting in my closet and I don't feel like getting it. Maybe they should make this free to play? I don't think so. Not every game needs to be free to play.
Bro, you know how much work it is to set up the full stick and throttle and then set up the VR and then I'd have to like dig out a USB pro uh, probably to plug all that shit in. Oh, fuck it. They're either ready or they're not. Drop them. I think every game's worth paying for. I think supporting devs is a good thing. Damn, we got three bombers? Oh shit, and it's this level? Bro, no. Titan 1 standing by. Titan 2 standing by. Titan 4 in formation. Rebel fighters have been detected. Logitech Extreme 3D Pro? Bro, fuck that. I have like a SciTech X55. If I was gonna use anything, it wouldn't be a Logitech. I'd pull out the SciTech that I have. This fucking guy off of me. I want to see that my explosion get him. It's always the fucking A wings, bro. Oh, I'm pretty sure he he got shot down there. I got, oh yeah, speed boost L3. I haven't been doing that like at all. the mine how close was this guy oh he was far he was far if i like fall in order and enjoy flight sims will this game be good probably on approach i don't like telling people what to spend their money on because what you got to understand is people have different different amounts of income like if you're on you got a full-time salary job and you make enough money to go out and eat anytime you fucking want and buy whatever you want and 40 bucks ain't much 
If you're working hourly making six bucks an hour, 40 bucks is like a day of fucking work. So the whole idea of, oh, I don't know, is this game going to be worth it? Well, I like, it's like, it's such a weird fucking question. So it's like, I don't know, you know, I don't know what your income's like. I think there's a dude, uh, there's a dude named Lance on Twitter who made a skit about it. And it's the funniest shit. Cause he's like, people come into your game. People come into chats asking like, is this game worth it? Should I, should buy this? And it's like, I don't know what your fucking income source is. It's like asking somebody who doesn't know your dick size to recommend a condom brand. And I'm like, yeah, basically. Ah, shit. Wait, what did he hit me with? He was in front of me. How did he kill me? Oh, no, he was... What the fuck? Well, technically true, it's the nature of the job of a content creator influencer. Whether you identify with that. No, I don't, I don't think it is at all. That, that sounds like you have expectations of a influencer and what it actually means. The reality is as a, a influencer, as you want to call it, the idea is that that behind that is that people would look at, at games we're playing and it would potentially influence people to buy games. For starters, I don't I don't believe in the whole influencer thing. I think that's a stupid fucking title. I'm a content creator. I create content. It's up to you to watch that content and decide if it looks like something you want. It's not it's not a content creator's job to to force feed you product and say this is the product you should consume. Spend your money on it. Because I don't know what your fucking income is. If you're a big ass fucking Star Wars fan that makes a hundred thousand dollars a year and you love Star Wars so much that you'd suck off George Lucas and this game was a thousand dollars, guess what? You're probably still gonna fucking buy it. But your average person that's just looking for a flight sim, they're not gonna spend that kind of money. Hence it's pointless to say, is this worth it? You know, is this worth it for me? It's a $40 game. How much is 40 bucks to you? 40 bucks is me going out and grabbing lunch with my wife once. That's fucking nothing. Like that's honestly, that's the thing that, that gets me. See, I have, I work, I work two jobs full time. So when people are like, yo, is this, is this game worth it? I don't know. Is this worth it? I'm like, it's fucking $60, man. Like $60 is nothing. But I work two full time jobs. I have a house. I have my cars paid off. I have a shitload of disposable income. So... When people are like, is is this is this worth it? Is that I mean I heard I heard the game's like sixty bucks. Like 
don't know, what's fucking 60 bucks to you? Back when I was in college, yeah, I'd decide very carefully what game I wanted to buy. But the point is, even then, you shouldn't be relying on the opinion of somebody that you watch to make your decision on whether or not you should buy a game. Like, you should be able to sit and watch me shooting ships for maybe 15 minutes, maybe ask an informative question like, so how are the controls? Are the controls responsive and tight or whatnot? What do you think about ship diversity? Get a little bit of input and then be like, hmm, you know what? I think I would probably enjoy this. I like ship fighting and if the controls are responsive and it's Star Wars, I think I would dig that. But just being like, cowboy, what is your opinion? Do I spend my money on this? I don't fucking know, man. Have you paid your rent today? Like, I don't know. Yeah, but once again, is the quality fair for the asking price is it's a skewed question. You cannot. It's, it's a fucking stupid question to ask because it all depends on what your perception of value is. Does anyone play the Thai Reaper? Lots of people do. Oh, no, the support thing? I don't know. I haven't seen anybody playing that yet, but I just started today. Like, let, let me let me put it this way. I'll, I'll put it this way. I spend roughly $300 a month on steak. On steak alone. I'm talking just steak. I, I buy a butcher box. every. I don't even know how much the butcher box is. Maybe it wasn't $300, but let me see. Let me let me see. I got to pull up like an incognito window here. Incognito window. See how much the big butcher box is cuz that's that's what I get. Once a month I get this and this is all the meat. So for for my plan Oh my god damn butcher box. Just show me the fucking plan. It's like log in to start. I'm like, "No, no, man. I'm not logging in right now." Sign in. I think this is my password. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I want to go to boxes. Account. Feels, oh God, it will not let me fucking look at it. I can't get it. I don't know. Anyway, it's like $285 a month or something. So I'm spending $285 a month on fucking meat. Just for me to eat. Now, for a lot of people, that probably seems like, whoa, you're spending a lot of fucking money on meat every month. But for me, I want to eat all that meat. And I want to eat that good meat. It's all grass fed and shit, so I don't gotta worry as much about like the, the unhealthy cholesterol side of meat. Then yeah, to me, it's worth spending three hundred dollars a month on meat. I know some people though that like that's that's half the fucking rent for their apartment. So the point is it's you can't you can't just say, is it worth it? Because worth is always going to be different for every person. Worth is always going to vary. Because it's going to completely depend on what your income is as an individual. Titan 4. Titan 2 at the ready. Yeah, exactly. I, I spend a car payment on meat per month. But I like eating my meat. I eat a steak almost every night. Everything has led to this. Moving to attack formation. I 
I don't know. I don't know kilos. It's, it's, I'd have to. The websites. The websites. Uh, it's fucking up. I need to like. I need to log in. I'll check after this match. Bro, Join do not, do not talk shit about my meat. I will boot your ass out. I'm playing the game, but let me make something clear, my guy. My meat is more important to me than you as a viewer. So, this is the, if I if I didn't have to alt tab to time your ass out, I would. Come in here saying fuck your meat one more time, and you will be gone because I don't give a shit about your shitty opinion. Here I come. Doesn't steak get boring if it's every night? I don't think so. I could eat steak almost every fucking day and I wouldn't get tired of it. I mean, to be fair, mainly I'm doing it on workout nights usually, so it's like four times a week. And then the other nights, I'll usually go for like chicken or salmon or uh, shrimp or something. It's all about them proteins, man. Mm. Uh, my arteries are good, bro. My arteries are good. I just got my cholesterol checked. My arteries look fucking great right now. Have a nice steak. Thank you, PG. I will. Probably get me a big ass ribeye with that. Big turn. <laughs> Damn. Yo, they are getting fucked up this time. This level's real good for my bomber, too. Better than Battlefield flying? Uh, I don't play Battlefield, so it's hard to say. I think my blow up might have killed that guy. Ready to strike. Damn, they only got one guy up right now. Make that no guy up, he's dead. Space turret shooting everyone. Meat train? Yes. If we get enough meat train going, I will do I will do a full steak live stream where it's just me eating steak on stream. Oh, I think my explosion got him. Did it get him? I feel like he would have died from that.
It hurt him. They don't stand a chance now. You bro, you would never turn me vegan. I'm sorry. There's I love meat too much. Fucking bacon, steak, pork, shrimp, lobster. Exactly, dude. Like, I'm hitting the gym four days a week. I'm doing cardio three days a week. I actually rarely marinate because I'm usually grilling. So I just use a little bit of McCormick's. Just put some McCormick on there. Flip it. Put some McCormick on there again. That's it. Just meat. Favorite cut? Probably prime rib. Or if we're talking to strictly steak. Damn, 15 player kills. It's a new personal best. 15 fucking kills. See, I get I get I get excited about my meat. We start talking about meat. I'm like, yes, meat. Let me see. So let me let me uh Alright, I'm gonna log in or try to log in. I cause I had to I had to kill butcher box and then uh i re-signed up with page's email because they were offering page uh they were offering page like free free meat for life and i was like yo what the fuck i want the free meat for life yeah it's 270 for the big box so that's almost 300 dollars. which right hang on hold up is this is this looks like they get free filet and lobster what is this? Is this like always sign up today and get two five ounce lobster tails and two six ounce fillets in your first box? Oh, that's only for your first. That ain't like a for life thing. The box I get, we get uh every time we get a new box, it comes with like two pounds of free ground beef, which most of the time I'm using that shit to make burgers and they are fucking good. I recommend playing through a tutorial that explain the game mode and show you the ropes. Skip it. Throw me in, coach. Anyway. Did you see the PS5 teardown vid? I did. I'm happy that it's easy to just pop the sides off now. Lab-grown meat? I mean, if it tastes good, sure. I have nothing against lab-grown meat. Oh, shit. Can I, can I back out of this? Fuck, man. Oh, man, it put me on the fucking derpy people side. I don't want to be. Oh, that's ass. Ugh. Whatever, I guess we're doing this. Stupid. I mean, part of the reason I'm doing grass fed is because I'm doing, since I am doing meat almost every day, I figure the best I can do is eat the best meat possible. I have tried bison. I like bison. Bison's pretty good. I had a vegan girlfriend when we broke up because she said it was her or the beef. Well, for starters, she's a shitty person for giving you that ultimatum. But at the same time, you probably should have known that that shit wasn't going to work out. It's one of those things where it's like if, if you're if you're adamant about your eating habits, your significant other needs to be okay with that. Yeah. All right, then. Anyway, but back to the back to the original statement. Point is 
everybody has different income and everybody has a different perceived value for somebody that's not in the gym with a personal trainer four times a week three hundred dollars on beat a muff probably seems kind of uh kind of kind of like a lot seems like a lot of fucking money to spend on meat but if you're somebody that that wants all that protein constantly and you're already paying to have a trainer and your goal is constant gains then it's like sounds good yep. but like i said it's at, at the same time even if you wanted to do it that's going to come down to income I like deer meat. I like gator meat. Bro, I eat anything. I like all the meat. I'm trying to get a butcher box sponsorship. I don't think they would sponsor me. I don't have the right kind of content for them. I mean, I think more than protein, people need to get out and exercise. But for exercise, people need to, I think, I think a big part of obesity, especially in America is people don't have a, people don't have free time anymore. Like, like I basically could, the, half the reason I cut back all of my streams was so that I would have time to start working with a personal trainer. Like it's, it's legit. It's hard to find enough time in the day. Cause if you're going to work out. I mean, like, at a bare minimum, you're probably working out for an hour. And a lot of people, you work so damn much that you just don't even have the time. We need people to... They need to let... We need, we need like, six-hour work days. Or four four-day work weeks. Man, why bombers are shit. I'm close to a 410 right now, but I support the four day work week. Bro, work out while watching the streamer. Every time I die, you gotta do like 20 crunches. And every time I kill somebody, you do 20 push ups. Using for controls, controller. Come on. They're almost ready to attack. Water's taking heavy losses. Hey, you have a tail banger three. I have a flight joystick. I'm too lazy to set that bitch up. Help is on the way. Pain in the ass pulling that thing out. Let's get some fire on that.
Wait, is this a bad guy ship? It is. Oh, damn. Killed by the cruiser. Nah, we've never done shoutouts on this channel. So what actually, like, is this, do I just got to blow up the big ships? That guy hit his own ship. It's funny. Or am I supposed to target the little guys or what? I probably should have done the tutorial. I have a 2080 Ti. But I'm probably not getting a 3080 because they're like non-existent. They're like fucking unicorns. Let me fall back and prepare to defend. I was trying to get a 3080. I had, I had a uh, a reservation of one from some site that was supposed to ship out in October, and then they pushed that shit back to like December first, and I was like, this shit ain't coming. If you do the vape command, you will get the answer you seek. Your luck's about to change.
That's one down. Bomber fucks these things up. Feels wrong helping the Rebel Alliance do this. Tricky guy is just like hunting me down. I keep, I keep going for the, the shit, and he's like, "Fuck this guy." But we're on to the destroyer. It's good. Let's make it happen. Where's Tricky? Tricky's the only one that's like. Actively watching for his ship. Yeah, crash into it. Big damage on that destroyer. We're messing this thing up. Y'all aren't ready for me. Attacking it from the top. It's just crazy enough to work. Wait, do I need to like hit the bottom of it, I guess?
Yeah! Oh shit. So where where do I gotta hit is there like a specific spot to hit this exactly? Capital ships have subsystems like shields targeting, once those are destroyed. There are smoking exposed sections that deal more damage. Okay. Oh let me see. Power system, right shield gen, targeting, okay. So I gotta I gotta attack I gotta attack key parts. Change targeting to capital ship subsystems. Hmm. Uh, target my attacker, acknowledge ping, free look, balance. Probably targeting wheel. I got cooked. Probably wasn't the smartest play, but... <clears throat> Crash into it! Boom! Please tell me I get damage for crashing into stuff. Oh yeah, left shield gen's down. Just blow shit up. 13 deaths, 8 kills, but 32,000 of the capital ship. Fuck that capital ship up.
feel dirty helping the rebellion, but I did what I had to do. Let's go back to dogfighting. I want to shoot people with my ship. Fleet battles aren't bad, but... We got 20 more minutes. I'm going to wrap up, make some dinner. Pulling out our thick boy again. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, we're down a man. Or down a man. We're back to being thick as shit. God damn it's this level. Whatever, I'll just float around by the top. I have a lot of quick boys to protect me this time. Titan 5 standing by. Ready to fight. Titan 3 at the ready. Titan 1 in formation. Titan 2 at the ready. Rebel fighters have been detected near our listening post. That will not stand. Eliminate all enemy ships in the area. Victory or death. There's no room for anything else. No, oh shit. What? A Y Wing got me? Bro, there's no way. How did I? What? They must have like hit my targeting systems or something. Problem solved.
Damn. Dude's a zippy boy. Actually doing pretty good considering we're down a man. My time is now. Mm. Pretty sure I do just crashed. Get that guy? I don't know if I did. What? They telling me this missile got me? Oh my god. Get them off of me! Get the fuck off me! Get off me! God damn it, dude. I have no fucking support. My team is like a bunch of potatoes. Like, I show up, I kill two people, and then within half a second, I'm dead because there's an A-wing on me, and I don't know where our dude... What are my dudes doing? Like, bro, all you need to do is just protect the bomber, and I will kill fucking everybody. Like, in that one life, I'm pretty sure I killed three people. I think this guy died too. Yeah, my, my explosion would have killed his ass. Uh, 
and deploy. Ready to strike. Attack my mark. Dying to fucking A wings. I really need to play this with a friend. I need somebody that can be on me and protecting me. I mean, we win this. We need one fucking kill. As soon as I spawn, I'll murder somebody. They don't stand it. No, we got it. But yeah, I think this would be way better if I had like Tox or Ron or somebody playing an interceptor and just following me around and shooting people that got on my ass. Ugh. <clears throat> the bomber fucking murders people though, bro. Overpowered 268 seconds with max weapons power. Just murder. Murder, murder, murder. Damn. Got your ass beat by a five stack. 14 kills. 9,000 damage. I set a new career best for player kills and damage dealt. Whew. All right. This seems like a good spot to wrap up, though. I need to... I'll talk to, to Ronatox and see if either of them uh, want to get in on this with me. Because if I had someone protecting me, bro, it would be blowout matches. Just murdering everybody um so right now the game plan for friday is spell break um should be a good time if it's not a good time we'll probably switch and do more of this but either way i'm gonna wrap up things here for now and go get some dinner all that talk about steak got me hungry y'all have a good night uh probably no stream tomorrow but i will catch you on friday with something different see you later